Chris Hadfield's keeping very busy on the International Space Station, but not too busy to send us back a taste of life in space. As you know, if you've been following, and hundreds of thousands are, he's tweeted photos from the ISS every day. Some, well, there he's going about his daily routine, expressing support for his favorite hockey team, <laughs> Leaf Nation there in space. Lots of shots of us down below, 380 kilometers below. The Earth seen from his perspective. The photos have captivated many of us back on the planet, including our colleague and friend Matt Galloway, whom you know is the host of Metro Morning on CBC Radio 1. Matt has been looking at these tweets and photos, found them so engaging, he wants us to respond to Chris Hadfield and send him a message way up there. Matt, Matt's radio show is done for now, so you can come and pay me a visit. Thanks for coming nice in. Nice to see you. Thank you. This is a great idea. We heard you talking about it. thought, hey, we better bring Matt in and talk about what, what he'd like to get going here. Um, have you seen the space station? Have you stood outside and watched it go by? No. It's amazing. We went with our kids a few times, uh, freezing cold, and you watch, and it takes seven or eight minutes and tracks across the sky. We told listeners about it, and they went out and watched okay. as well. And we thought... It's so incredible to think that there's this can that's flying across with people right. there. Chris is sending these amazing photos of what we look like down on Earth. The photo that he sent, I'm in Toronto, so the photo that he sent to Toronto, we blew up. We were trying to figure out where our house was. We thought, is there a way, because he's communicating with that's us, right. that we could communicate with him, that we could somehow try and let him know en masse when the next time they fly over the city, that we are there watching. We're thinking him. of you down below. Yeah. Because, you know, it's kind of the, you know, the, you turn, there's the Toronto shot that he sent back, and yeah. we've had similar things of St. John's, for example. Those These amazing, photos are unbelievable. they really are the forest fires, yeah. the brush fires in Australia. You know how we turn the lights off once a year altogether? Is it sort of the reverse of that? I'll do something. Well, there were people in uh, the United States who did a similar project where they had these two giant spotlights, and they would cover them up and open them up and cover them up and open them up, and they were able in the space station to see this blue sort of flashing light. So we asked listeners is there a way that you think we could do this and people said everything from kind of a giant wave across the city where lights go on and off kind of in this Fun. coordinated way to we get out into a giant park with uh, flashlights or candles and we make a maple leaf or as you mentioned during earth hour we turn the lights down that came from the astronomical society of canada said that might be the best time because the power is low anyway you may be able to have some sort of pop that would show them up in space what it is that we're doing. The whole point is really just, I mean, to get everybody out, this kind of collective experience, which is a lot of fun. Absolutely. But also to signal to him that he's doing amazing work and we're inspired by that work. And if there's a way to show him that beyond us sending up the tweets that we're sending, that would be really cool. So are you, are, are you sort of trying to get this concretely here? Is Absolutely. It, you think no, about it, and real, take it, to a it started as me just right. mouthing off right. on the radio as I do, <laughs> but now is a real idea. And so we've had thousands of people who've written in with these thousands. ideas, thousands of people with their su suggestions. And the great thing about crowdsourcing is uh, there are a lot of people who are a lot smarter than I am. So we want those smart people, not just here in Toronto, but across the country, around the world, to give us an idea as to how we could do this. What is the best feasible way that we could send a message, a sign to Chris Hatfield? And we'll let him know that we're going to do this so that when he comes over, we're all peering out. Uh, it, he can peer out and see us. But just try and get everybody to figure out how to do this best. And if we can land on that in the next month or so, then we'll do it. The key thing is we have the time because he's up there for five months. Yeah. So there is some time to go. Does he have any sense of it? Uh, does, have you told him or you tweeted him that we we're thinking about this? We sent a couple of this? tweets to him. We're going to be speaking with his brother as well in the nice. next few days on the program. And so we'll get him to send up a note. And then everybody out there, if we can get people with flashlights, giant spotlights. <laughs> somebody said cell phones. We could wave our cell phones because that's all we do now. There has to be a way that we could communicate back with him. And again, it's about sending a message, but also getting everybody out to see what is an amazing thing when the space station goes you know over your be city. Nice? It would be nice if we did it around the time he takes over as commander of the International Space Station because he'd be the first Canadian to do so. So maybe to coordinate it around then. And it doesn't just need to be in Toronto. I mean, no. if we could see it elsewhere across, across the country, country. So that what would do be people great. do? If they're watching our conversation, send you an idea? Tweet me. At Metro Morning is the best thing. So if you have an idea right. uh, how to do this, big or small, uh, foolish or uh, actually concrete, <laughs> Creed, send us a note at Metro Morning on Twitter and we'll try and pull this together and we'll let you know so that you can Beautiful. let people know as well. All we'll cover. All right. Great to have you in. Thank you. Thank Matt you, Galloway, host of Metro Morning, looking for your help as we say uh, hello from Earth <laughs> to Chris Hadfield above. Thanks, Matt.